Liver diecast, back at it. I know you see that. The Hot Wheels basic bin tray. This Hello everybody, welcome back to Live or Die Cast. We're here at the local Target and it appears that there is some cars on the pegs. Uh, nothing new for main lines, but it does look like they put out this new flying customs set. So we'll check it out. First up, the 86 Chevy Monte Carlo SS, sitting on the slotted five spokes. Pretty cool. Second up, you got the 85 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z on the gold hot ones. And the 69 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. Pretty cool. Probably one of my favorites of the set. And I'm not a huge Mercury fan. Next up, you got the green 68 Custom Auto. And this is also one of my favorites, the 66 Chevy 2, the Nova. Beautiful purple enamel, blue stripes. Very, very nice casting. And next up you have the 69 Chevy Chevelle SS396. You all know I've been doing a couple of Chevelle customs. I'm actually working on one currently. Next up, the 65 Ford Mustang Convertible. It's a nice set. And the 69 Shelby GT500. That thing is beautiful. Fire engine red, the gold hot ones, clear glass, beautiful car. That rounds up the Flying Custom set. I do believe there was all, all the cars there for that. Shout out to Hot Wheels there. No new premiums. Doesn't appear that there's any new monster trucks. Um, I've been looking for some Chase Monster Jam stuff thanks to Mustang Hunter, but I haven't been lucky enough to find anything. Check this out. Looks like some fresh Johnny Lightnings. Look at this hot pink Hearst ramming speed from the Demolition Derby. You've got the number 21 Import Heat. Looks like the MGB 1963. Pretty cool little convertible. And there's another one. Some of these have been hanging here for a while, so I'll, if you see me bypass some quickly, it's because I've already looked at them. Check this zinger out. Mopar or no car. Got the Hemi on the side, the red line tires, chrome wheels. Look at that beautiful green enamel. You got the chrome engine sticking out of the hood, the side pipes. This thing is sweet. The 73 Plymouth. Very cool. And this is pretty cool. The blacked out. Is this some kind of pickup truck? Nice. Very cool. The Willys pickup. That's right. That's what it was. I couldn't remember. I thought it was a Ford, but I didn't, I didn't think so. And then here's a little Pinto. The Ford Pinto. Number 58, got the black wheels, black engine, the Ford logo in the rear glass. Never was a huge Pinto fan. That thing right there is probably my favorite of the new Johnny Lightnings put out. It is a main line, so we're going to leave it behind. 
Uh, looks like a couple more there. Some matchbox stuff here. And here's some micro machines. I've never found one of the gold chases. I found several of the the silver. I haven't found any of the new red ones either. So if anybody's out there looking for those, good luck to you. Nothing there. All right. Well, that's our target. And that's my favorite of the, the set they put out. On to the next. Liver diecast. Back at it. I know you see that. The Hot Wheels basic bin tray. This is the first fresh one of these I have ever found. And we're going to go through it and see what we can find. Let's see if I can set you off. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go through this and I'll be back to show you what I found. Stay tuned. Back, so there was 192 in that first one of these we've ever opened up. We did not find any supers. We did go ahead and load the pegs up and went through here. We did find a couple of main lines, which we're going to leave behind. And we found three pixel shakers. And we're going to leave those behind as well. So um, it was fun finding something new, stocking the pegs. Nothing for us today. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, friendliness is free.